Bitcoin, have we hit the bottom of this bearish cycle and thus are we going to move into a bull cycle? Well, no one knows the true answer to that question, but you can make an educated guess. So are you ready to be educated by Professor Chico? Well, you don't really have a choice because it's time for Chico Crypto. Well, there is no doubt we have been bearish for a good amount of time. Since the daily peak set on November 8th, there hasn't been a confirmation of a bull trend reversal. This means we have been in a bear cycle for 135 days. Now, the last bearish cycle we experienced was back in 2020. After the April 13th daily close high, we retraced all the way back down to below 30K by July 20th. But we can see the bullish trend took over, stopping that bear trend in its tracks. That bear cycle thus only lasted 98 days. So what the freak? Why is this bear cycle taking so much longer? Well, actually, let's look back at the chart. Yes, there has been no confirmation of a bull breakout just yet, but since late January, we have been setting a series of higher lows. January 22nd, we hit the lowest so far of just above 35K. February 21st, we set a higher low of just above 37K. And March 7th and the 13th, we set another set of higher lows of 38K. So what if January 22nd was the bottom? Well, from the high on November 8th to the January 22nd 35K low, that is a bear cycle of just 75 days, actually shorter than the last one. So was 35K this cycle's bottom? Well, there is some data that suggests around there is the bottom. Plan B posted this chart last month of clusters where Bitcoins were last transacted. And as we can see, overwhelmingly around the 40K level is a place where Bitcoins were last transacted. Over 3.5 million of the 19 million Bitcoin were last transacted at or around this level. Remember, this was posted by Plan B last month, February 26th. And looking at the price chart, we were below 40K, looking like we were going back down to 35K. What did Plan B say on this tweet in regards to another major analyst, Will Clemente, exclaiming, 40K is a very crucial level? Well, Mr. B replied, indeed, reclaiming 40K would possibly be the start of the next leg up. Well, we have reclaimed that level, and as of yesterday, we were sitting around 42,500. So what is a level and break of it, which would be a signal of a bull reversal, pretty much confirming 35K was this bear cycle's bottom? Well, it's the grand resistance of this bear cycle, which we have failed to blow through on four occasions. The grand resistance of 45K. And crypto Twitter and everyone agrees that this is a level that needs to be broken for bull confirmation. Searching by Bitcoin 45k on Twitter, we see the tweets. 45k, we break this next to 50 to 53k. If we can eat through the supply ahead of 45k, we are going to moon. Slow and steady grind for Bitcoin up to the 43 to 45k resistance level. Maybe this time it breaks. So are we going to break it soon? Well, last week I posted this candid video titled Breaking. Bitcoin will do the unexpected next week. What was unexpected? Well, let's just listen in to what I had to say. Um, there's a lot of good things going on in the Bitcoin world. And like I said, I have a feeling the unexpected comes by next week. So I have a feeling people aren't going to expect the price to break 45K, the grand resistance, and it will next week. Why? I had a strong feeling we were going to move up to the grand resistance of 45K and break it this week. So what was my reasoning? Why? So Doquan, I've talked about this. He's talking about buying $3 billion worth of Bitcoin for the Luna reserves, um, have UST, UST backed by Bitcoin, one of the first stable coins. So there's a $3 billion purchase coming from Doquan, but he upped it and said that he's gonna actually be buying 10 billion over time. So, of course, you know, the markets are reacting to that. Do Kwon and Terra Luna buying up Bitcoin for their reserves to back the stablecoin UST. Now, last week, there was no information about when they would begin doing this. I just had a feeling it was going to begin this week. 
Well, did it? Yes, sir, Bobo, it did. Crypto Slate reported that Terra Luna buys 125 million of Bitcoin for its reserves. And yes, there was an Ether scan transaction from a known Terra wallet for 125 million, which was reported to be going to buy Bitcoin for the reserves. Now remember, initially it was leaked that they would be buying 3 billion for the reserves, but then it was up to 10 billion by Do Kwon himself on Twitter. Well, just two days ago, Cointelegraph put out an article on this and reached out to Do Kwon to see if this buying had begun or it was just an idea being floated. And he replied, I don't understand the distinction. We're already buying Bitcoin. So that $125 million move, it has to be coming for Bitcoin. $125 million is just about 4.2% of the $3 billion and just 1.25% of the $10 billion they said they are going to buy. Checking out the price chart, the buy of 125 mil pumped Bitcoin from under 41000 to 43000 what do you think is going to happen when they make more buys for the reserves? Pump, baby, pump. And Bitcoin will finally break the grand resistance of 45k. Although, is there more to this Terra Luna Bitcoin buy story than meets the eye? And it involves another altcoin. Well, March 5th, before all the news came out about the billions of dollars in Bitcoin being bought up by Terra Luna, a Chad Barraford, core dev for Thorchain, Rune, tweeted this. The world's biggest decentralized stablecoin, UST, is getting a Bitcoin pair on a decentralized exchange via Thorchain. Do I really need to explain why this is huge? Why isn't this bigger news? To clarify, the integration means someone in one trade can swap BTC to UST and back without being KYC'd or asking permission. You can't fist pump Bitcoin's decentralization, then trade to a centralized stablecoin USDT using a centralized exchange. UST with Rune is the way. And then Nirvan says in a reply to this, we need you and Do Kwon to do a live Twitter space. Of which Do Kwon replies, down. So what does this mean? Well, a block nomada on Twitter summed it up very nicely. He said, UST on Lightning Network. That would really bring BTC to a new transactional and usability era. A decentralized stablecoin, redeemable for the decentralized Apex asset. Terra blockchain merging with Bitcoin, powered by Thorchain. Just wow. Hashtag Lightning Network. Now there are hints that this has been coming. Back in August of last year, Do Kwon was on a podcast, a modern finance podcast, and RuneBase summed up the conversation in a blog. This is what was said back in August by Do. In a recent episode of Kevin Rose's Modern Finance podcast, Terraform Labs founder and CEO Do Kwon exalted Thorchain's potential to bring Bitcoin and other disparate crypto assets into DeFi. Asked by Rose, Kwon went on to reveal that the Terra and Thorchain teams will be setting up relayers so users can send assets between the two ecosystems seamlessly. Then back in January of this year, the Thorchain Twitter tweeted, 2022 is the year of Thorchain. What are you most excited to see on the network? And guess who replied? Do Kwon with a U dot dot dot. He was hinting at UST. And now let's just hear this chat from Do about his holdings, what he hodls. From a cost basis perspective, besides Luna, Osmos is my, uh, you know, second biggest holding in the Cosmos ecosystem after Luna, uh, and then from the from from like an actual holding perspective, I, I guess Rune is my bigger holding, but that's only because I've been holding it for a while. His second biggest holding outside of the Cosmos ecosystem is Rune from Thorchain. I must say, it sounds like there is something bigger brewing, and the hints are all there. Remember, Terra Luna has already reclaimed its old all-time high. Could Thorchain be the next one in line? Well, it still has a way to go, and if things play out like they seem, it's a high possibility in my opinion. Cheers, viewers. I'll see you next time.